Mike, the WNBA is getting a lot more popular with Caitlin Clark, and there was yep. a, a lot of her um, really solid women's players are coming to the league this year. Yeah, I think some of the NBA guys are taking notice. Um, Donovan Mitchell, you know, he had the press conference. He resigned for the Cavs, talked about his love for the city. He's still out there. Uh, it's not clear yet if he's going to spend the money or if he's encouraging people to do that or maybe saying, hey, the least you can do for me is – Give me a WNBA team since I'm coming back to town. But he expressed interest in saying, hey, I remember the old Cleveland Rockers. Yes. Can we bring them back? Yeah. Are you in favor of the idea, Mike? I'd love to see that. You know, I, Cleveland's a good sports town when you think about, it. you know, now they've had some really good teams, but they've had some teams that, that haven't, and they support their teams, and Cle- Cleveland's a good sports town. Uh, so I think that's a great idea. I'd love to see something like that happen. I remember actually covering a Cleveland Rockets game. Here was my impression about it. I, I thought they didn't mark the league great when it first came out, mm-hmm. and Cleveland didn't have that many great players at the time. Mm-hmm. But it was really weird because going there, there must have been – it seemed like there was only a 1,000, 2,000 people in the game. But my brother covered with me, and he kept on pointing out, dude, you'll never believe who's all here. Uh, Johnny Cochran, and this was shortly after the OJ trial. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was on the floor taking some video for it, and you know, I saw Johnny Cochran. Uh, I locked eyes with Ron Harper for a while, and, yeah. and again, this was when Ron Harper was the guard for the Bulls, you, you know, yeah. on the right. title team. Yeah. Um, so even back then, during the time when the Rockets, you know, Tate and LeClark wasn't playing for the Rockets at the time. They didn't have anybody. I I, I don't think I can remember anybody that played for the Rockets mm-hmm. at that time. Uh, I think there's a lot more tension with the team, yeah. uh, with the league this year. Mm-hmm. And I like the idea is if you have an NBA team, help the league grow by having a WNBA team at the right. same time. So I agree I, with that, especially because Cleveland doesn't have an NHL franchise too. Yeah. So there's a there's a market hole there for something like that. Uh, to have another pro sports team there, that would be great. I can make the argument too. And again, probably another story for another time. The WNBA playing in the summer, I think it's good because you 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 don't want to have it exactly the same time as the NBA. Mm-hmm. It's so unfair for the players. Think about Caitlin Clark. If she just gets off her, well, I think it was like the third straight Final Four she was in. Mm-hmm. The week after she goes to the draft, week after they're about ready to start playing. Right, yeah. Give the poor girl a break. I mean, yeah. you know. Yep. And I, I know it's tough. I know for TV contracts and everything, it's nice to have something you can put on Sunday afternoons other than baseball in the summer. Right. I sure. get why WNBA plays in the summer. Yep. I think it's just unfair to these college players. I mean, everyone else has the offseason. And we, right. we go crazy when we're like, oh, these NBA guys got playing the Olympics and then they all have a break. WNBA players literally don't have a break. If That's you make right. the final four, you play, yep. you get drafted, and you keep you keep playing again. Right. It was unfair to her. So how do we change that? I don't know, but we, we can do better in the WNBA. Well, she certainly has brought a lot of excitement and a lot more viewership to the WNBA this season. You know, a lot of great games, a lot of great matchups, a lot of intense matchups. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's good for the league. And even if the Rockets can't get a player like that right away, you know, maybe we go to watch Caitlin Clark when she comes in town. Yeah, yeah. Could be. I'd love to see Cleveland get a team. Now, who knows whether that'll happen or not, but it's certainly interesting to talk about, Chris. We'll see what the power of Donovan Mitchell is. If Donovan <laughs> Mitchell says it, will it come true or not? All right. Well, thanks again, Mike. Have a good yeah. one.